Hi everyone. My tip today is to recognize when you're feeling any fear or anxiety or worry and accept it for what it is, but then take some steps to try and get you out of that space. So it could be something like meditation that might help calm you or journaling or tapping. But something that I'm finding really effective on top of those sort of things is working some facial reflexology points. So I'm going to show you how to do those today to get you out of that fear and worry. So what you need is something like the rounded end of a ballpoint pen, something that's soft on your face, or it could be the rounded end of a crystal, nothing sharp. And something I use quite often is a cotton bud. And a cotton bud's just got a soft rounded end, but it's enough small enough to pinpoint the exact nerve point so you know that you're in the right place. So how you start off is by just getting your index fingers and rubbing up and down in front of your ears about 12 to 15 times. And what this does is working, it's like a little spine reflected in front of your ears and what you're doing by rubbing on it is you're stimulating that to really calm down. So you're stimulating your parasympathetic nervous system, which gets you out of that fight and flight response. Also, it works the limbic system, that part of your brain where you hold your emotions and your memories, and it's where you hold fear too. So it really gets you, or one of the places you hold fear. So it helps you, gets you out of that feeling of fear and into a state of calm. Now, all these points will help calm you down and you can work them up to three times a day because at this time, you know, this undercurrent circumstances, we're often feeling anxious and especially if you watch the news, which I'm trying not to do, it's very easy to get into that fight and flight mode and that fear mode. So you really want to do everything you can to try and get out of that. Okay, the first point is if you could divide your forehead in half, so half that way, half this way, and go across in the centre of your forehead to the outer edge of your iris, which is a coloured part of your eye, and feel around there for where it's tender. So it may not be directly in line, it could be just slightly off centre, but just go around there and feel for where it's tender. And then what you do is you hold on here for about 10 to 20 seconds. And just press quite firmly, not enough that it's, you know, breaks the skin or anything like that, but just press quite firmly so you can feel it is tender. It's like almost like a sharp little sting that you can feel. And this point here is great to release any stress and anxiety. It's great for headaches and also is great for the immune system, which is something that we can all use at the moment. So it really boosts your immune system. Then you go across to the other side and do the same on the other side. So line it up with the, the center of your forehead in line with the outer edge of your iris, the colored part of your eye. So press on there for about 10 to 20 seconds. The next point is in the top third of your forehead. So you can imagine you've got your forehead divided into three. You've got that top part, the middle bit and the bottom third. And you go to the top third and in line with the inner corner of your iris this time. So up from the inner corner of your iris, the coloured part of your eye, and feel around there where it's tender too. And you should find a spot that's a little bit more tender and you press on there for about 10 to 20 seconds. This point's really good for fighting fear. And do the same on the other side. So in the top third, oops, wrong side. <laughs> camera's back the front so it's confusing. In line with the inner corner of your iris. And press there for about 10 to 20 seconds. The next point is directly right in the middle of your forehead. So you can imagine your forehead's divided in half that way and that way. You go right to the center. This is a really good one to calm the mind calms the whole mind, whatever's going on. You've got all this chatter going on, the monkey mind. It fights fears too. So hold there for about 10 to 20 seconds. The next one, you go down, right down from that, and sort of between that and your eyebrows. So between that, that spot and your eyebrows, halfway between those two is another spot that's really good to calm any fears and worries. So you press it for about 10 to 20 seconds. This really fights that anxiety, those feelings of anxiety. And then you slide down, while you're on that same line, slide down 
right between your eyebrows. So you're going to be right in the middle, just between both your eyebrows. But you sort of, it's almost like you're just up above the top of your nose and feel around for where it's tender. Now this spot here can be quite tender. It's actually a very powerful spot because this works the pituitary gland. And the pituitary gland is considered our master gland. So it controls the release of hormones from all other glands. So it's a really important one to do because it regulates, you know, all that fight and flight response. It's a really good one for that. But if your blood pressure's low, be, do this really gently. Only do it for about 10 seconds because this one does lower your blood pressure. And then the next one would be right on the end, inner corner of your eyebrow. So go right up just above the inner corner of your eyebrow. Feel around there. It should be a little bit tender because these points here also work your shoulders. And we all, well, not all of us, but most of us hold a lot of tension in our shoulders. This one can be quite tender. So hold that one for about 10 seconds, 10 to 20 seconds. This is a good one to relax all your muscles actually, so it's a very calming one for your nervous system. And then go across the other side and do the same above the inner corner of that eyebrow. Feel around for where it's tender. These are good for shoulders, like I said. Hold that for about 10, 20 seconds. And then the next one is on the left side only. So you go to the left side of your face and go across from the bottom, bottom of your nose in line with the center of your pupil. So right in the center of your pupil. And then look at where your nose flares out. So the highest point really, what you want to do is go across from that. So you could almost go from the bottom of your nose, the center of your pupil and go up a bit or go across from where that part of your nose flares up, the highest point, you go across there. And feel where it's tender. And hold there for about 10 to 20 seconds. Now this one is a really good one to fight any worries and anxieties, but it also works your immune system. This is the spleen point. And the spleen is involved in um, the production of white blood cells, um, amongst other things. So it is a really good immune point to work to. So do that one. And then the last one is going to be on your chin. Now, if you've got, if you're pregnant or got high blood pressure, don't do this point. Um, anything below the nose you shouldn't really do if you're pregnant. And also, if you're pregnant, it's probably good to see a reflexologist actually before you actually do any of these points. So this one is in the center, right in the center. And on that bony part of your chin. So go right to the center of that. Feel around where it's tender. And press there. And this one calms the nerves again. And that's it. You finish off by rubbing up and down in front of your ears about 12 to 15 times. And this is like a closing sequence. Now, like I said, all these points, you can work them up to three times a day. If you have any serious medical conditions, you should always, you know, see your doctor or your medical provider before you do any acupressure points. But um, otherwise, work them and see how they feel. See how it makes you feel. See if it relaxes you, because it does. They are really, really potent points. And like I said, do them up to three times a day and let me know if you have any questions too. Good luck and um, yeah, take care.